today is pretty simple. It's about about 6.30 or so. I want to go out to one of my favorite spots over in West Seattle and Alki and catch the sunset and then pretty much just see what goes from there. All right, ah, 6.40 right now. Things are looking real good across the water. And I think I should have just enough time to make this happen. Okay, so this is by far one of my favorite spots in the city. One of my favorite views of downtown Seattle. It's really the best place that you can see the entire Seattle city skyline. It's just a great spot to be. Okay, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this right now, but I really hope you can because this moon is coming over the horizon massively right now. Like, it's just huge. It's huge and it's going so fast. All right, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna put on another lens. I probably missed the sunset, but that was okay because that giant shipping container went by right in frame and it's gonna look really awesome. I mean, I just love those times when you're gonna go to a place, you don't really know what's gonna happen, it might not even seem that promising, but you get there, you show up, you do what you wanna do, and then it turns out really, really good. So, but now, I'm gonna go across the water over to the boardwalk over there, um, probably go to the Ferris wheel. There are these really cool LED lights that light up the wheel. And I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna set up actually because there's some construction going on. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of exploring, but you know, it's all part of it. Concern. One, because even though the Ferris wheel is going, the lights on the spokes are not on or changing colors, or it's not really doing anything but turning. And two, there is a lot of construction going on over here. So I'm not sure how close I'm going to be able to get to it in the first place or even get on the boardwalk at all, but I'm going to keep going. You know, this spot might actually do quite nicely. So speaking of the Space Needle, that is going to be the next stop on this Seattle nightly adventure because what is more Seattle than going to the Space Needle? There are a lot of things actually, but this is gonna be one of them. Okay, well that was awesome. I just instinctively grabbed my camera, jumped out of the car, and set it down right in front of these railroad tracks and got that train go by. That was awesome. But there's no such thing as luck, my friends. Because as my hero Casey Neistat says, luck is when preparation meets opportunity. And that was pretty damn lucky. Still saw it behind the train. Still waiting. Anyway, good news. There is this really cool fountain over here that um, y'all would probably like to see. Maybe in slow motion. Another train. 
It's going by right now. A lot of train traffic tonight. Train gang. Train of trains. It's like a train link fence out there. It's like they're training people how to use the trains. See, that's them right there. Uh, they're the badasses giving me advice over there. But they're saying that since that one train was going the opposite direction, they're probably just switching tracks. And now, the other train is moving. So, we're about to get out of here and go to the Space Needle. Yes. Whoa. Obligatory Space Needle selfie. Okay, so whenever you walk near certain parts of this little garden, hear that? I love the Space Needle, and you just can't really tell how epic it is until you get right up next to it and just look up. Just so cool. It's like, there's a reason why this is the icon of our city. I think I know where to go next. Yeah, here's the spot. Alright guys, so I think I'm going to call it there, uh, it's about a quarter to midnight right now, and it's about time to end our adventure, but it's been amazing, hey, catching that sunset, watching that moon rise over the horizon, uh, getting out to the dock, seeing the ferris wheel, seeing that train, and eventually making it over to the Space Needle. So it's been a good one guys. And I will see you next time that we continue the endless adventure. Peace.